So the score keeping element is working now. The next thing to do is to add input boxes so that the user's name for each color can be placed here where the words blue and red are. So what I'm going to need are two text input boxes. So I'll give this one a background color that is blue. Uh, but because that's so dark, I'm going to use this transparent slider and make it just ever so slightly blue. And we'll make the text actually blue. So for a placeholder, I'm going to put blue player's name, and I'm going to call this one blue input. Okay, that looks good. Uh, let's duplicate it. Slide it down here, and this one's going to be red player's name, and we're going to call it red input. We'll make the back the text color red, of course, and the background color we're going to make red and faded so that you can still read what's behind it. All right, now we need a little button on the side that serves as an add button. I'm going to grab the corner and shrink it. That should do. And I'll do the blue one first. And the ID I'm going to give it is just blue add underscore btn. And for the text, I'm just going to put a plus symbol. That one looks good. And I'll duplicate it and make a red add button. And change the background color to red. scoot it down. So this part's done, now we just need to code the top section. So whenever this blue add button is clicked, then we want to set the property of this blue button. That is called the uh, blue button. It took me a minute to remember. And we want to set its text to something new. And this part is a little tricky. We want to set the text of this blue button to whatever is inside this input box. So we have to get that. So we're going to grab a get property and stick it right here in this last box. We want to get the property of the blue inputs text. Let's try that out. So right here, if I write uh, John, and then I click the plus, it's going to take the value John and put it in place of the word blue. Okay, that one works. So that means all we have to do is copy this, Control C. Control V, and in this bottom portion, change all the words blue to red. We'll be done. This would be a good app for um, playing cards or for a board game. Let's try it out. So both names work, and now you can click that person to add to that score. Uh, a nice extension might be to have a reset button, or even after hitting reset, have an are you sure button. Uh, it might also be nice to have smaller buttons down here to add one or to add ten points, because if you were playing like a game of spades, you might not want to click to go up point by point when the score can get up to 300 or 500. So those are other activities you can try on your own and see how they go.